Thank you, Jeannie. Thank you, Peter. And thank you, most of all, Archbishop Nauman, for starting us off with a word of prayer, a word of prayer from the Psalms that says, Behold, you were knit together in your mother's womb. The hairs on your head were numbered, and also you were your days. Our own Declaration of Independence in the preamble says, yes, we are created by a creator God. And we earn our rights from that creator God, not from government. And thank you, every one of you who walked over here. I know it was a long walk in the snow and the rain. Thank you for caring. Thank you for caring about vulnerable life. And thank you for caring for the elderly. Thank you for understanding that we are created beings by a loving God. We stand here today as members of the VMB movement, value them both. And we had hearings yesterday for many hours and we let the proponents stand and we let the opponents stand. And the opponents tried to use scare tactics to dissuade us. And we also had a number of women come up who had had abortions who wanted to share their stories, their very traumatic stories. And we're not here to judge, we're here to protect. We're here to protect those women who want to keep their infants. We're, we're here to protect the women, the children in the womb. The Value Them Both movement is necessary because we have statutes in Kansas law. They are all aligned with the Roe v. Wade ruling federally. And the Supreme Court is striking those statutes down. So far, they have stricken the dismemberment abortion statute, which is a late-term abortion on a very developed infant who can feel pain. And we all know that is wrong. That's a terrible wrong. And what they are about to strike and what's coming up the pike in the court system is our clinic regulations to make sure that all healthcare clinics including those that perform abortions, have standards, have healthcare standards that we abide by, that have clean instruments, have licensed practitioners in the facility. For some reason, the abortion movement wants no regulations and they do not want to comply with ordinary healthcare standards that all other healthcare providers comply with. They want to strike down the first bill that we passed in the Kansas legislature. We passed the first bill called informed consent. We had passed it in the year 1995. I led that charge. And we passed it so that women would know about the procedure, about the potential outcomes. And now it is standard, no matter what procedure you undergo in what healthcare facility here in Kansas, you sign an informed consent document. The abortion industry wants that document invalidated. They want abortion at will in a clinic that's possibly dirty and unregulated. And they want to play on the emotion of a woman who's in a crisis pregnancy. And our laws are healthy, our laws are good, they protect life. We need to pass this amendment and in order to do it, as you already know, we need a two-thirds majority in both the House and the Senate. And thankfully here in Kansas, in our legislative process, those votes are recorded. And I've looked at the polling and the people want to vote. They want the right to vote on who determines their health care policy when it comes to abortion. The scare tactics didn't work yesterday in committee. We've kicked out the bills and we will debate them soon on the House floor and the Senate floor. And we need for all of you to be engaged for the entire session until this gets put, put on the ballot in August. And people are saying, why are you rushing it? Why do you need it done in August? We're rushing it because already a dismemberment abortion is now allowed in the state of Kansas and they are about to strike our clinic regulations. This is an urgent situation that we face. We need healthcare regulations 
that all doctors, all hospitals, all facilities comply with, we need those regulations to apply to the abortion industry. That's what women want, that's what patients want, it's the right thing to do. We have a sense of urgency, it needs to go on the August ballot. Already we're allowing dismemberment abortions in Kansas. We need to stand, we need to let people hear our concerns. We need to love those who disagree. We need to explain why we're here. And we need to share our witness that we were created by a loving God. And we are here to protect life at the beginning of life, at the end of life, when life is vulnerable, when a person is disabled. We go out of our way to care for others because they're created in the image of God. That's why we're here today, and that's why we stand together, and that's why we will be successful. Thank you so much.